Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video today we are going to learn about how to create barcode for our labels. For those who doesn't know what a barcode is or what it looks like, let me show you. So this black and white vertical pattern is nothing but the barcode. Okay, this one barcode, this is another. Okay, and these are the value which is being encoded in the barcode. So when a scanner scans it, okay, this is scanning nothing but this numbers. Okay, these are the values which is being encoded in the barcode. So today we'll learn how to create this using the zebra programming language. So let's get back to it. So on the screen we can see a couple of commands. Okay, this is the starting format, this is the end format, this is the font of this reshapsha, and this is the command which is used to write this reshapsha over there. Now to create barcode, okay, let's specify the printer that we want the barrel barcode to be somewhere here okay so i'll give x coordinate as 100 and y as 150 because i want letter with blue because i don't want my barcode to be overlapped with this reshapsha okay now to create barcode the command is caret bc barcode okay and the barcode holds some values right and the barcode have some couple of parameters also okay we'll i'll explain you that uh, for before that let me show you how like how to feed the values how to use the values to create the barcode so for that we'll use this uh, field data command okay and we'll use this www.youtube.com as the value for the which is which will be used uh, uh, encoded in the barcode and of course the field separator okay and uh, in the images I, sh I have shown you that uh, all the barcode is having only the numeric values but uh, there is no restriction to that that it can hold only the numeric values it can hold the full alphabets or the alphanumeric or the numeric okay there is no restriction to that so now when we hit redraw see a barcode appeared with this value and this value is nothing but the www.youtube.com okay now to play with the you know the dimension attributes of the barcode okay there are two ways let me show you the first way okay which is just for the dimension parameters so caret b y is the command to play with the uh, attributes with the uh, dimension attributes okay for the barcode so first parameter is nothing but the width so by default it is two only okay i'll give you give it as two only and the second parameter is nothing but the width ratio. So, the, so for the best practice, we are keeping this as empty. Okay, it will take the default value. Do not change, do not put anything. Uh, you like for now, for our basic understanding, we'll use the default value only. Okay, and the third parameter is nothing but the height. So, we'll give this as 100. Okay, so now when you click this, retro, see, we got a barcode with appropriate size. Correct? Okay. As I told you, this is 100. Okay, if you want to be a little bit smaller, okay, we can do that as well. Let's just say I'll give half of it. So it decreased, right? And this the first parameter was nothing but the width. So if you want to increase the width, we can go with three. By default, it is two. Let's just say we will go with three. So this is what a barcode looks like. Okay, this is one way to play with its dimension. Okay, now there is another way. Let me just remove this. Okay. And then again we'll keep redraw. It will get back how we started without the parameters. Okay. Now we have couple of parameters for the barcode command itself. So we'll learn about that. Okay. The first parameter is nothing but the orientation. Okay. So for orientation, we just want the normal orientation. So n. Okay. Second parameter is uh, the height. So we'll give it like 100 let's just say let me show you let me hit that redraw button see it's correct so there is two way to you know change the height of it either you can uh, mention the value over here or if you want specifically uh, then you want over that uh, using that by command okay now first parameter is done normal orientation second parameter is the height we are done with that also now third parameter by default it takes y i mean like yes okay 
the parameter name is uh, is used for this below value whatever we can see this is the human value this is the value which is uh, this is the thing which will be scanned okay and the scanner understands that okay this uh, the value of this particular barcode is www.youtube.com and from human eye we can see that okay this barcode encodes this value okay but let's just say we don't want this value to be seen okay with a naked human eye okay only a scanner should understand it so by default it is the parameter value is y so to make it like hide okay we can go with n it will remove that human readable text for the barcode value okay so we are done with this third parameter also okay now to now the fourth parameter i have to keep this as like y so that you can see the human readable text now the fourth parameter is nothing but either you want this human readable text on the below of the barcode or on the top of the barcode okay so by default it is uh, what do you say no for the uh, because it wants the barcode value to be at the below but if you want that, that uh, text value uh, to be above of the barcode you have to give uh, sorry y okay so it will Up, uh, it will come above the barcode the value okay after that the parameter is nothing but the ucc digit check so for best practice we are using the default value only n and then there is another uh, parameter called mode so for even for that also we are using the default value okay these are the like default value which are used by most of the scanners so we'll go with this only no extra uh, hurdles we, do, we don't want extra hurdles for that okay so nothing changed okay so this is how a barcode is created using these parameters so for your you know understanding let me give you some barcodes parameter like you know theory here fx uh, you don't know what fx fx is nothing but the uh, this is the command which you using that which you uh, you can uh, write comments inside a jpl program okay so let's just say fx so for this barcode okay barcode the parameters i, I can explain the parameters okay so first parameters fx okay the first parameter is the orientation by default we'll keep as n okay then the second parameter is nothing but the height it should be number okay depending on your requirement how how you know what is what should be the length of the uh, barcode now comes the human readable text okay so let's just say human re readable text so either it is y or n okay you want or not then there is top slash below human readable text okay you want that or not so again it is y yes or no okay then we have something called ucc digit check so for best practice we'll use as n only okay either it is y or n but uh, for for our best practice we can go with n okay and then we have something called mode mode have different values but uh, for best practice i want you to go with this n so these are the parameters for this uh, barcode and let me give you the parameters for the by command also okay 